good afternoon students La, today we are going to discuss about the topic very good afternoon students today we are going to uh, discuss about the topic that is third chapter methods of testing of dc machines okay so there are the different methods of testing of dc machines which includes the types so to analyze the performance characteristics of the motor and applications okay and per efficiency so we have to place the equipment for different uh, we have to go for undergo for different tests that is so they are the essential characteristics okay so we have to find out the essential cast of the motor that's why we are uh, going for the DC missions uh, okay so in the DC missions we have in the different types of motors that is DC shunt motor DC series motor DC compound motor so here we in this test uh, in this class we are going to discuss the DC shunt DC series and DC compound <coughs> <coughs> so we'll do the same experiments which are done on the DC shunt and DC compound similar to the same but coming to the DC series motor in separate test for the performance characteristics for the DC series gen motor okay so here the characteristics okay to find out the cast of the motor will have the different types that is one type is the direct test another one is the indirect test so here the essential cast of the DC motors so we will discuss this topic in the essential cast of the DC motor so first one is the torque okay Here, first we are going to deal with the that is torque, current, speed, and efficiency. This we are going to discuss. Okay, so here to find out the torque. Okay, so here the in the performance characteristics should include the torque, current, speed, and efficiency of the motor, either generator or motor cell. Okay, so to uh, to know the performance characteristics of the machines, we are going to conduct that is each characteristic is plotted function of the motor plotted as the function of the motor output power ok the characteristic is also known as the performance so this performance curves ok for whatever the characteristic will draw in this output power versus the load current torque versus speed so these are the all the performance curves ok so let's talk about the DC shunt motor so DC shunt motor has a different at no load speed okay so that's a it run at the constant speed so it does not uh, run away when load is suddenly throw off the provided the field circuits remain closed okay so the drop in speed from no load to full load is small then refer to the constant speed so that is we have discussed that the speed the shunt motor as defined as the no load speed okay so it means that run it does not run away when load is suddenly throw off that is remove directly of the motor it provide the field circuit is remain closed okay that is that and the drop in the speed from no load to full load is small then it's referred to as the constant speed okay that is the different next we will talk about the the drop okay so drop in the speed from no load to full load is small is referred to as the constant speed and the speed of the any load within operating range of the motor can be obtained as the varying the field of the means of field region that is in the DC machine so here the shunt motor will have so the shunt motor we are running the with the coupling with the one load so if it suddenly if it is load changes okay so it does not run but when changes that okay if it is suddenly high load is removed then it not a constant but when continuous variation with load then speed will be said that the it is the running is the constant okay so drop the drop in speed from no load to full load is small so it is referred to as the constant speed okay speed of the any of the load okay so the speed of 
the speed of any load within operating range of the motor can obtain varying from the wheel that is uh, for changing this rheostat okay so by uh, varying the rheostat with this okay the speed of the motor varied by varying the field rheostat which is connected with the field okay so by varying this field vary the speed of the motor okay the efficient score is of the same shape of the electrical motors as general so if you talk about the efficiency curve that is output versus okay so here we'll having the efficiency here we'll having the output so by comparing both okay sorry so here is output efficiency run so the performance curves if drawn okay that will be the same for both mission and motor okay. that is why so efficiency curves shape and max efficiency potential is a variant so starting of the dc uh, torque of the dc shunt motor okay so efficiency curve curve shape of the maximum efficiency point can be varied because the starting of the torque okay so starting torque of dc shunt motor is very different where compared to the DC series motor when coming to the compound motor it will be different so depend upon the torque the efficiency versus and power of torque characteristics will be efficiency versus output curves okay that will vary because of the torque so the torque is different okay so the torque vary for starting torque of the DC shunt motor is different and DC series motor is different so for that so we need to control that so here dc shunt motor okay so dc shunt motor curves will be different and dc series motor curves will be different because the shunt motor will at the constant speed the series motor uh, run at the high to uh, starting is high and running torque also high okay well coming to the dc and compound motor cable starting torque and with excess of current inputs because it will have connection that is uh, it will works at the starting is heavy high current okay that is the point because uh, here in coming to the dc series so dc series motor so dc series motor come on load up place so suddenly you know, it will go to the ia is equal to is so maximum current of load so maximum current flow is that starting torque so excessive current of load so then the torque and the starting torque as well as the running torque also very high okay speed torque also so that will vary the output and efficiency curves for compared to the dc shunt motor so if it twice the uh, full load torque is required at start okay this is shunt motor draw the twice of the full load current <coughs> <coughs> because the torque is directly proportional to the armature current it is uh, directly proportional well coming to the series so it will have the twice of the armature current okay that is the so you need to observe that is if the twice full load torque is required for start okay that dc motor draw the twice of the full load current that is uh, that is because of the torque versus armature current okay for dc shunt but to the constant flux okay but when coming to the dc series okay so here for dc series that is directly proportional to the square of the armature current okay. that is the variation now we can observe the the torque speed characteristics okay the performance cast of the motor you can see so ampere turns we have and torque in it. okay we can see the characteristics of the motor so here the speed the speed is constant okay and here is a rated okay this is the up to rated one so here this is the torque and newton meter so torque versus current so we observe so that will be weight okay the efficiency curve torque curve current speed current okay that will be different so this uh, performance characteristics is for the 230 volts 20 ampere 1600 rpm shunt motor that is here we are taking the here load okay here the ampere turns okay so here efficiency and the speed 
and torque okay if it draws a speed versus armature current or load current the cast-tooth will be like this so speed versus load current the cast-tooth will be like this okay if you take the shaft so that will be different okay and efficiency that will be having the like this okay for the shunt motor so this is the we are having the efficiency torque current okay So we are coming to the DC series motor. Okay, so when DC series motor performance characteristics you say so e performance characteristics are not allowed. <coughs> so these performance characteristics for the 3.73 kilowatt 150 volts 40 ampere series motor. Okay, so here we will take so one graph. So one DC uh, one exponents you want to give the so one exponents uh, one castics okay so we will do the deficient and the okay so break test are deficient dc control okay so we move to test law okay so three wishes my eighth expert session okay so performance care so performance characteristics mean direct test so direct test that is we are going to apply the load that is breaks so by applying the brake test so we are going to draw the different performance characteristics of the machine so here the dc series motor the performance characteristics will be like this okay we can observe the efficiency curve the speed curve okay so here suppose if we take the dc shunt motor the speed characteristics will be like this but when coming to the dc series motor okay the torque speed characteristics will be like this okay so we can observe the variation the drop which are the starting so starting the speed is high but coming to the dc set work is the constant so when load current is increased then the load current increases the speed will be decreasing that is for applying the load the speed of the motor will be decreases here also the speed will be constant until the applying the constant load so here the efficiency by applying the load of the motor so if you take the dc compound sorry shunt motor that will be graph like this but when coming to the efficiency curve for series we will have in the like this okay the current characteristics also we can observe here the and torque characteristics so for shunt we will have in the like this we are coming to the ar uh, this the armature torque we are coming to the shaft torque it will be like this. here we can see the torque characteristics of the dc series motor so these characteristics we can obtain from by doing the brake test on the DC series motor and this cash we can get from the brake test and DC shunt motor ok so the performance curves we can draw from the applying the brake test on the motor ok that is if you case the DC series motor DC shunt motor and compound motor so man performance cash is draw jalante a experience jalante direct test so direct test lo chu indirect test also so direct test lo man chese endante brake test indirect test lo chese endante no load test so no load test ande man different ga unnai so direct test lo endante we are going for only that is brake test So, the uh, DC series motor cash is faces good. So, that drop in speed is with increasing the load. Such uh, much more prominent series motor that will be in a shunt motor. For a given current, the input. For a given current, input the starting torque is developed. Series motor is greater than the developed the shunt motor. Okay. So, when coming to the shunt, okay. So, series motor and the classics are different. Okay. Series motors are used where huge starting torque is. But coming to the DC shunt motor, it is for constant torque. Okay. Constant speed. So, for street cars, cranes, haste, and electric railways, we are going to using the DC series motor okay starting and running torques will having the high and another unique cast of the dc series motor which makes the, the 
specially disabled of traction work that is when load comes to DC zero it responsible by decreasing its speed supplies the increase in the torque with small increment of current okay that is for the special case of the DC series motor so here uh, first section so manaku test lane two types unnani so first one is the direct test okay so another one is the indirect test so direct test so one of these exams are good in the by applying load okay so by applying the load that is called as the direct test without applying the load that is called as the indirect test so in the brake test it comes under the direct test so in the direct test of supply okay so one of these one of these so one DC motors key okay so DC motors key in the brake okay so one of these weight and apply so weight apply to see rotor speed and the decreases okay so one of weight and the place on any message and key so you can build to drive okay so build to drive and use this money so one of the weights and it okay spring balance 30 weights and the messages so this is for the brake test we can see so here the brake band is fixed both the help of the wooden blocks so here we can see okay so the brake band is fixed to the both in the help of wooden blocks okay is gripping the pulley so one end the band is fixed to the earth via spring balance okay this is spring balance we can see and other is connected to the suspended weight so the here is a we are applying the weight side okay and the motor is running with the load and the motor is adjusted to its full load so here we are applying the load by means of the applying the full current okay so that is the motor is running and the load on the motor is increasing till its full load current okay so here by applying the uh, weight okay so that we are creating is that the so w1 we are considering and w2 is the another thing so monaco experiment test is the problem okay so elaborate away so i want to get in the ticket a belt to drive which is what belt to drive is to do so we'll have the two spring balance so spring balance in the monarch in the weight of purchase on a break by now okay so motor file so adi monarchy so you could have written in the tema s1 or s2 or not okay so wait and then monarchy credit in terms of newton switches so newton's length of values and so the name and they open w1 or w2 so only play the news so here the force okay so force acting on the pulley that will take it that is f is equal to w1 minus w2 so one key the higher value is higher values to the lower values okay into 9.81 so 9.81 into newton so this is for the force and the torque if we take the torque so force into radius so here is radius that is this is the pulley okay so radius of the pulley in meters this is the radius next n is the motor pulley speed in rps so here we'll doing the motor output by applying that so output of the motor will consider the 2 pi nt by 60 this is the output and input we can take the v into il okay so which are applied the supplied power okay supplied voltage and current here what uh one inches experience law okay so you can end the one of the efficiency find one so efficiency and output by input into 100 okay so this is for the efficiency so you can one experience low okay so one graphic just to say so first in the time we are taking the here is a motor either dc series DC shunt motor, DC pump motor. Okay, so if it is DC shunt motor, okay, so what is shunt and the so speed just good. Okay, 
let me take this here <coughs> if it is a dc shunt motor okay so dc shunt motor so dc shunt motor ante manam first rate speed ki apply chesam okay so rate at speeds ki man apply chesti so rate at speeds the ekkada ante by using the field rear start so field rear starts base cheskoni endante manam rate at speed ki chesukunna सो रेट स्पीड सो रेट सो रेट स्पीड तरह मिशन सो मन लोड ओके सो सो पुलिस सैड मन लोड अस सो लोड असेट इकड मन के एस वन एस टू आर् डबल वन डबल टू सो इक मन एंटे ग्राज्युल इंक्रीज लोड अने इंक्रीज ओके द Output. So the performance characteristics are this. So if I want this, I can value this. I need to do that. In one, we'll draw the in a one tabular column. So we'll take in a tabular column. So tabular column input voltage and current. Okay, and speed. So on the first, we'll place it at the mission at rated speed, voltage and how much current is flowing. okay for rate at speed so then we'll take the w1 and w2 so w2 w2 okay then we'll calculate the torque then we'll take the output input ओके एफिशिएंसी सो हियर फॉर टॉर्क ओके सो टॉर्क इज इक्वल टू सो एफ इनटू आर ओके एफ इज इक्वल टू वेट ओके डिफरेंस ऑफ वेट इनटू 9.81 ओके इज द टॉर्क इज द इज द न्यूटन मीटर वेट इन द न्यूटन्स आर इज द रेडियस ऑफ द पुल सो दिस इज द रेडियस ऑफ द पुल इन मीटर्स then output so output is equal to pi t by 60 okay so input is equal to v into i l is equal to output by input okay so after the getting these values and tabulated okay so we get the performance characteristics like this so with effect to with the load current okay so we are taking the load current as in x axis in y axis we are taking the speed so speed torque okay output and efficiency that we are in in y axis in x axis we'll take in the load <coughs> <coughs> सो इवन सो मन एंटे स्पीड वर्स लोड करे कैस्टिक स्पीड टार कैस्टिक सो स्पीड टार टार मन एक्सएक्सी ओके सो अब टार स्पीड कैस्टिक सो अवटुट पर्फ अवटुट वर्स दि लोड करे एफिशिय वर्स लोड करे नैक्स्ट टार वर्स अवटुट सो वीट की मन एंटे पर्फॉम स्कल सो पर्फॉम स्कल मन so this is the for the dc series motor performance curves and this is for the dc shunt motor okay performance curve but while coming to the dc compound motor so we'll getting the uh, in between both okay dc series characteristics and dc shunt motor characteristics and we will lost okay so these are first are the uh, direct test so we'll same experiments are there okay so we'll take the motor okay so our dc shunt series compound सो रेल मन को डीसी शर्ट अं कांपौ मोटर्स सेम उ सो फस्ट वील गेटिंग दि रेटेड स्पीड देन वी आर् अल्लाई दि लोड ओके बट वेल कमिंग टू दि डीसी सीरी मोटर सो डीसी सीरी मोटर्स मन को कैस्टिक्स डिफरेंट उ ओके सो स्टार्ट फर् दि डीसी सीरी मोटर वी अल्लाई दि लोड ओके सो वी अल्लाई दि लोड सम आफ् दोड दी विल इंक्रीज दि लोड 
సో మనకి ఏంటంటే డీసీ సెంట్ మోటార్ అండ్ కాంపౌండ్ మీటర్ సో రెండింటిలో కూడా ఏంటంటే మనం కాల సో రేటెడ్ స్పీడ్కి అప్లై చేసుకున్న తర్వాత లోడ్స్ అని ఇంక్రీజ్ చేస్తారు బట్ సిరీస్ మోటార్స్కి ఏంటంటే మనం లోడ్ అప్లై చేసిన తర్వాత ఇంక్రీజ్ చేస్తూ వచ్చింది ఓకే అది డిఫరెంట్